together for one of our own. Matthew Murray, guys, let him hear it. Good evening. My name is Matthew Murray, and the answer to your obvious question is no, I am not the comic book guy from Simpsons. <laughs> I am aware this is not a good look. Big poker player. Big poker player. I got so hooked on it for one point, I thought I had a gambling problem. I was at the casino playing a little too much poker, so I called the number on the wall. Two rings, they answered right away. Hello, sir, this is the problem gambling helpline. Do you have a gambling problem? Yes, I do. I have two pair, <laughs> but he check raised. Am I all in? Hello? No tips or nothing. Brand new baby girl at home. We just had a birthday for, thank you, one person. <laughs> oh, Chubby's procreating, that's good. <laughs> it's uh, one of, we did a cake smash. Women, you've invented this thing, a cake smash. Basically, you buy the infant a cake, and then you watch her smash it. Should not do dessert abuse in a fat person's home. It was difficult for me to watch. Halfway through on the day of, I'm like, we're not gonna eat any of that? It was a real challenge for me. The one thing I learned out of that though is they will, if you buy the cake, they'll let you write anything you want on the cake. Which is fun for me, because now my wife and I have a back and forth battle to see who can put the most obscene thing on the cake. I'll go into my house, sir, what name, what name would you like on this? Uh, yes, um, labia. Uh, excuse me, sir? Oh, uh, labia, it's a girl's name, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 I don't want such a big labia there. No, make a smaller labia, appreciate that. Oh. You know, if you write labia on a cake, it changes the flavor of the cake. I understand nothing chemically or physically has changed but it still tastes better. <laughs> oh. I have a very awesome automobile to match my manly appearance. I'm driving a 97 Toyota Corolla. <laughs> Ladies. The best part about my car, the official color on my car, wheat. It actually says that on the make. Serial number, model number, color, wheat. Who invented wheat? As a, no one has ever gone car shopping and going, well, I'll take that one, but can I get it in wheat? <laughs> Maybe a barley two-tone for the kids. <laughs> okay, moderately funny here in New York, I understand. The problem with this car is when I tour Kansas, I am completely camouflaged. I'll be on the highway doing 65, guys will just walk out on the street, yeah, that's right, dead. <laughs> Was that wheat? <laughs> It's a good looking car. I have a car alarm. That's the joke, thank you. I think a car alarm has to be the most useless thing you could ever purchase as a human being. When is the last time you heard a car alarm go off and you thought, one of my fellow motorists is having his automobile stolen? <laughs> Come on, fellow citizens, we've gotta stop this guy. No one does that. Everyone thinks the guy didn't turn his car alarm off getting into his car. So there's nothing alarming to the whole thing. You know, if you want a car alarm that would really work, the guy would go to steal your car and the car would go, let me out of the trunk, man. Come on, man, there's blood everywhere. Let me out of the trunk. Because I know carjackers looking at my car going, dude, that's wheat. I did mention I have a baby at home. One of the things I've noticed since we have a child at home is uh, you can't argue anymore with a baby in the house. You can't raise your voice, you know? So I notice my wife and I now, we have to argue through the child. We're kind of leveraging her in the arguments, you know? My wife will pick the baby up and be like, is daddy gonna get off his phone and do the dishes like he said he was? <laughs> yes, he is. And I have no way to retort, you know? My only option is to go pick the baby up. Like, is mommy being a passive aggressive bitch again? <laughs> yes, she is. Pretty sure the baby's first words are gonna be, am I the only thing holding this marriage together? I think so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matthew Murray. Thank you so much. Have yourself a wonderful evening. <laughs>